Hello amateur radio friends, this is Oscar November 7, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot and today I have some news. We have a new firmware uh, for the uh, owners of the Micro PA50 and the Micro PA50 Plus. The new version uh, of firmware is number 2.8. In my last video I um, gave you the option to upgrade to 2.6. Um, there are two things that are new in this version on this firmware basically the first thing is that you can turn off the buzzer so those who get crazy from the beep 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 yes you have now the option to turn it off if you press the FM key like four times in a row and if you click it again it will toggle on and off so and the second uh, thing is there has been a little error in uh, the calculation of the um, semi buzzer I can call it uh, as, uh, from 2.6 forward um, when you reach the level of 50 watts there will be an intermittent uh, buzzing sound um, to tell you that you're reaching the maximum uh, output power that is allowed with the micro PA50 and um, there was a little bit of an issue sometimes it didn't work sometimes it worked and this has been resolved as well in this particular version um, I made a uh, file for you guys. This is the file. Uh, the name of the file is micro PA50 update 2.8.rar. I have uh, uploaded it uh, to uh, my Google Drive and I've made it available in uh, the description of this video. Basically, when you unzip this drive, uh, um, I've made it very easy this time. Uh, when you extract the, 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 the file here, you basically get a folder on your uh, Windows computer. Let me bring this folder over here. And I have created uh, two separate um, subfolders, uh, one for the Micro PA50 and one for the Micro PA50 Plus. So you cannot uh, make a mistake in selecting the um, uh, the right firmware. Um, so. Uh, when you open the folder, uh, you will have the firmware over here and this is the software that you need to use. It's going to open on the other screen or no, it's to opening it on the right screen. And here normally the path should be okay. Uh, so it will point to the micro PA50 because we are now in the micro PA50 folder. Uh, just uh, one more time, very important. You select the COM port over here. You have to select uh, one, uh, 115, 200, so 115,200 bouts per second. Here you need to select 80 mega 328p from Papa. And basically uh, then you need to select the firmware. Normally it should be automatically uh, done. So I put a relative uh, path um, uh, for the firmware. Uh, and please very 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 important do not click erase flash because if you do you end up with a bricked version of your micro pa50 and you will have to contact uh, the uh, seller to get the code to de-block actually your um, micro pa50 um, how to do it uh, please i refer to my previous video uh, you will have uh, you will need a uh, serial cable USB to serial but I will link in the description of this video the other video where I explain you step by step on how to actually uh, upgrade uh, the uh, firmware uh, with uh, this particular software so uh, there you are um, one more thing if I go up here I have made the software in the two separate folders so when you select the other folder, this is for the micro PA50 plus, okay, uh, you will see that it will indeed uh, point to the right firmware over here as well. Uh, please um, um, leave me any comments. I'm not giving technical support. Please understand that it's at your own risk if you do any upgrades. I'm not responsible for brick devices. Uh, so this is my disclaimer, 70 trees and see you on the air. ON7OFF signing off.